Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. Ugh, York, what are you looking at? The director's cut. We've just, uh, oh, that's a lot of blood. Uh, yeah, we've just gone through this uh, villa in the weird world of Zack, they're here. And now we've heard the uh, shower going off, so we're going for that. What's this? Stabilizer. Put that into the toolbox. I'm not sure why the... Uh, Music is going on, so we're probably in a hurry, but let me look at the... Wait a second. Oh, that was my hand in the mirror! I thought it was a... Cigarette heavy. I thought it was a, um, hamster! <laughs> For some reason, that was bizarre. Alright, so, let's go quickly find the shower. Oh wait, we've also removed this. Remove it! Let's see what's in here. Well, oh. No mansion would be without its hidden vault. This is covered with a wood grain pattern. We need a key here, Zack. Alright. So we need a key. It's locked. I need a key to open it. Right, so we need to find a key. Oh, holy crap. Look at that. How about just reaching over and unlocking it? You probably can't. Okay. Oh, is the shower here? Sugar donut. Sugar donuts will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. Uh, oh, the shower. The hell is all this? Ugh. Is this some kind of a trap? What the hell is this installation? Modern. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. It is you. You're dead. Yeah. Le blood. Yeah, another cigarette, of course. She's gonna wake up now. Zack, kill me. Oh, I told you. Zack, she's still alive. Who did this? Who was it, Becky? I, 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 I. Ugh. What happened here? George, stay back. She's trying to speak. We don't have time. She's dying. Thomas, cut that wire. No! We must get her to the hospital uh -oh. immediately. That's probably going to kill her. Oh yeah, the the, the knife will kill her. Come on. What are you doing? Get out of the way. I'll do it. No. Don't. Why is York George, not doing stop. anything? No. York, just get the goddamn knife. Um. Dick. Uh, what the hell? What? I thought the knife was going to swing over and stab her. What the hell is this all? Where did this come from? Oh, she's still alive. I thought it broke her neck. And nobody's helping her. Ugh. And York just doesn't give a crap, apparently. <laughs> uh. Um. Huh? Huh? Hello? You're very white. Um... What is going on in York's mind? Is he completely insane? I think he is, you know? Oh, these things again. And a key! For the safe! <laughs> Gentlemen? You have just committed a murder. Ugh. So what is this? Are these linen curtains or are they... What, you've never seen a murder before? <laughs> York really doesn't give a crap. Yeah, it's good this time, Zach. 
I don't understand. Why are these so thick-headed? Just key to the safe. There we go. You got key for the safe. What does it say? Oh, look at this. She, um. Oh, that's a curtain. Okay. She must have been terrified. A horrendous ordeal. We were too late to save her. Well, not really, but what the hell is all this? Oh, that's a dirty window. Quite a serious character, though he likes to show off and is too eager to compete, which may be what it takes. What? George? What a... What a hell. Even Becky has been killed. Oh, thanks for your input, George. What? I was tripping. Open. Um... Why did we do that? Let's go. Let's uh, see what's in the safe. Uh, why fade to black? Couldn't you just give me an animation of the safe opening? There's a notebook inside, which is completely bare. Nothing on it. Um. Ah, he's gonna scratch and see what's what's underneath. What they've been writing. It's a rubbing, I think. Well, that's what it's called, a rubbing. My dear sister, I'm so, so sorry. I was a fool to fall for a man like him. Huh. I don't have the words to apologize to Anna. I left her there. She, she was, was suffering, suffering so much. much, and I just ran away. I know he wanted to kill me, too. But I'm not going to let him get away with this. I followed him after he was finished. He carried Anna into the woods. Anna was holding on to that precious locket of his. He couldn't remove it from her hand, even though she was dead. But she let go of it for me, though. It was like she gave it to me. So I brought it home. I might be able to bring Anna's killer down with it. I want you to see it. I know even he wouldn't dare to harm you. He'll catch me, though, if I go into town. I'm trapped in my house. So I've asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. Okay. I so. totally believe that Anna became a goddess. I believe so, too. She looked so beautiful. As though she might smile back at any moment. I have something else to confess to you. I borrowed a pair of your shoes without asking and broke the heel on one of them. I'll send them along with the locket. I'm sure the shoe can be fixed. Okay, so that's that explains why she was there. So Becky is Miss Stiletto Heel. And now she's dead. She gave the locket to the twins. Must be the special secret Lily told us about, Zack. We better go and see her first thing tomorrow. Wait, wasn't Becky this woman that died? I'm confused. Emily, who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? That would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becky were sisters? I should have known, Zach. We're all family here. Ugh. I don't like that smile of his. But yeah, you really gotta play this game, you know, without a break. Uh, I haven't played it for at least a few days, and there's been so much going on that I forgot the stuff that's going on. Because this, yeah, it is a murder case, so... Good doggy. Dalmatian. Again with that sapling there. Um. Oh. Is that the chapter complete, I guess? Yes, it is. Ugh, why are we looking at Thomas who's throwing up? <laughs> oh, 153 enemies now already. Not bad. You want to save? Yes. Please.
kind of pickles. It's what makes the world go round. Pickles. Zack for you. What? I don't want to see previously during the investigation. Actually, that's probably the game telling me, Hey, you forgot what was going on. Oh, I can't believe it, man. Now that's heavy. Me neither. When did Becky stop coming to work? I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. Yeah, 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 that's right. She was, she was totally depressed about something. Yeah, man. Quint called for her to let us know she wasn't coming in for work. She must have been totally in shock, the poor thing. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hun. If only I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size, which they said was very important. That's it. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. Where are the boys now? They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysen. Uh-oh. They said they were going to visit Greenvale Forest Park today. They were going to take Willie for a walk, that dog of his. Kaysen? Do you know him well? Oh yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us gifts from his road trips. The kids love him, so we let him take them out every once in a while. You know, for a little quality time with the missus. <laughs> um. Okay, I understand. But the situation calls for urgency. I'll go and look for them myself. And if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. All right. Where is it? Where? Um. Is that the old lady? Sally Graham, Anna's mother. Oh, she's probably had a nervous breakdown since then. Where could it be? Her dress. Oh, Sally. Sally, Anna's mother? She's acting up again. She's been like that ever since she heard the news. What exactly is she doing? <laughs> Got no idea. But I guess she's in like, you know, shock or something. The way I look at it, her daughter's death hasn't really sunk in the right way. Totally, man. I feel sorry for her. Come on, let's go. Lily, have you seen Anna's dress, dear? Oh, she's actually... I can't find it anywhere. She's in a nightgown or something? Zach, the wheels are turning. Not in the right way. You feel it too? Uh, yeah, that was quite obvious. Bait. Normal worm. Instead of the plasma mutant worm. Which eats children for breakfast. And then people for dinner. Hello, Emily. Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. Alright. Sounds like a long story. Any ideas where to start looking? The park. Lily told me where they went. No problem. All right, more driving. My favorite part of the game. Get inside. All right, come on, Emily. It's a two-seater, so let's go. And today, um. we're stuck here having to search for lost children. They're not lost. We're the ones who are lost. And so we are, Emily. <laughs> Zack, we may as well have fun if we're getting lost. You sure know how to take your time in a time like this. Look at his smile. He's so smug. Alright. Uh, oh, that's quite far away. Battle to the metal! Yeah! Whoa! Okay. Maybe not. This car is not that drivable. Come on. Ugh. Pedal to the metal! Grrr. Yeah, Emily, you like speed? I'll give you speed. Whoa! I can't believe two people have been murdered in our town. And now two young children are at the center of it all. I just can't come to grips with it yet. Crime will happen wherever there are people. 
And that's why we have our jobs. It might be easier for you because you don't live here. These were people that I knew that were killed. And the murderer might be someone who lives here in this town. It's really depressing. I know. But someone has to bring this murder to justice. You're right, I know. But, oh, Agent York, sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. Huh. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. Superb. You can be emotional at times, but you also possess what's most important. I do? What do you mean? What do you think? A sense of justice. Justice? <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised to hear such a... How should I say this? Such an obvious answer. I thought you'd say something else. Obvious um. or not, I joined the FBI in order to do what's right. And that's what's important. I understand, but still, you seem... Are you... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need some time to think. Are you floating Whatever with her? Whatever do you want to think about? Justice. I want to think about... Justice. Zach, she's quite the philosopher, isn't she? Um... Then ow. again, death makes everyone a philosopher. Damn it. I thought you, he was gonna say, Well, you have a driving license, unlike me! Ha ha ha! I'm crazy! Come on, pedal to the metal! Yeah! Whoa! Okay, maybe not. Jeez. Bloody hell. <laughs> well, there's a tree on the map, if you can see it. Long distance driving! This road is horrible. And blocky. But, it's the right way, so I'm quite happy. I'm destroying the car, sure, but I'm just gonna wash it and it'll be fine. Um, oh yeah, there we are. Is that a waterfall I hear? I think it is. According to Lily, Isaac and Isaiah should be here. Then let's go and find them. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there they are. <laughs> let's go and find them. They're right there. Hello again, Isaac and Isaiah. I hear you're teaching Willie to do tricks. What's your secret? It's easy. Really simple. If he does it right, we give him a treat. A cookie if he does it right. I see. You're very clever. So, tell me you two. Could you perhaps tell me your other special secret with Becky? No, we can't. It won't be a secret if we tell. I'll keep it a secret. I'm not telling. We promised Becky. Now that's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky. A promise to catch the bad man who murdered her. But I can't keep my promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? Okay. A philosophical problem. What are we doing? I don't know. Let's just pretend we're whispering and then make a decision. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. Oh, well, that's the locket. And then you met Carol on your way? Yep. I took the round thing out of my pocket and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on an errand for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. But we told her no, because Becky asked us, not her. We promised Becky to do it ourselves. Why is he getting cut off? Our cell. Zach? So Becky did entrust the locket to them. And now Carol has it. Right, Kason? Huh? Huh? <laughs> you were in the room when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but, but I was only chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in, all angry looking. While Carol and Diane had their talk, oh, I, I just sat there like a frog. 
<laughs> yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do with me, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? Apparently. This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. Which makes you Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Isaac and Isaiah, thank you. I think I'll be able to keep my promise with Becky thanks to you too. How is Becky? Is she getting better? She'll come and help out at our store again, won't she? Um, She'll come and play with us again, won't she? No, she hates you. About Becky. Uh, that's right. Uh, um, Becky is almost totally better now. But I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told by Becky to keep this a secret. But she's actually a goddess of the forest, just like Anna. I think she's going to be in the forest with Anna for a while. Cool. We'll keep this a secret then, too. Wow, that's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. Yep. Okay, okay, Willie. You're happy too, aren't you? Zach, I hope Emily doesn't end up as a forest goddess too. What is that in the background? <coughs> Was it the turkey sandwich in the making or something? Okay then, Zach. Let's go over what we found out recently about the case. All right. First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery. She was out drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Nick confirmed this, and so she has an alibi. But then we have what Nick's wife Olivia told us. According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Do you remember where that was? Zach? I do, but we'll do this next time. They went to the uh, art gallery. Yeah. 